to determine when you were being inauthentic or non-congruent and I've thought about this for a long time and, and tried to sort it out in a practical manner and what I've concluded is this you can try this for a couple of weeks it's, it's an extremely interesting exercise so you sort of have to detach yourself from your thoughts and what you say so you got to assume you start by assuming that what you say and what you think is not necessarily you and of course that's just the case because a lot of what you think in fact most of what you think and most of what you say are the opinions of other people they're things you've read or things people have told you you know, that's a benefit in some ways because you get all those thoughts that other people have spent a long time formulating but it's a disadvantage in that it's not exactly you okay, so you detach yourself from that you're no longer your thoughts or, or the things that you say or maybe you're no longer all of them and now what, what you're going to try to find out is which of your thoughts and things that you say are you and maybe so you can not utilize the rest or maybe so that you can correct the rest because they're not representative of yourself as an integrated being they don't take everything into account 